I have my chair if it's long, so I have a chair to sit. Monday marked day one of early voting in Maryland. So many people work very hard and diet to give us the right to vote, so I'm not going to waste that right. I wanted to get here early, make sure I, uh, you know, put my vote in. I'm super excited to be here, and I think it's important to um, have a say in our democracy. In Montgomery County, the Silver Spring Civic Building is one of 11 early voting sites. At one point, the line merely wrapped around the block. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming out to vote. It is actually the busiest vote center in the state of Maryland for the last couple of years. So we're very happy that our voters are patient and we have enthusiastic poll workers. I started at uh, 6.45 and just ended one hour and 22 minutes. So I, I timed myself and I think that was good and I actually started on this side right here and went around the whole building and ended here. Like this wrapped around twice. In the morning at 6.30 there were 260 people in line and if you add about six feet social distancing that's a little bit over uh, 1,500 feet. How long have you been here today? <laughs> um, about 30 minutes and the line go fast. And there's a phone app that has several features to help residents with their vote plan, including gauging line wait times. Download the app because the app has a lot of information regarding vote centers, whether you're voting during early voting or on election day. The wait times are great tools and the driving directions. And also you can see the status of your mail-in provisional ballot submission. Early voting will run through November 2nd from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Today is not the only day. We have eight consecutive days of early voting, and the last opportunity will be on Election Day, November 3rd, where we will have 39 vote centers across the county. Reporting in Silver Spring, Jordan Lindsay for My MC Media.